Hi all, Christine Beyer here, licensed esthetician for 20 years. And today I wanted to talk about broken capillaries, those horrible, <laughs> maddening, reddening, dilated capillaries on our face. They usually happen around our nose from doing our own extractions. They can happen from the sun. They can happen from rosacea. If you got them, I'm here to help. Welcome back. So broken capillaries, I got to say, it is one of the most difficult things to get rid of without having some medical help. I have a machine called the Thermalo, which is an electro desiccator. It can get those big ones and it does a really good job. But if you have the finer ones, you're really looking at laser. And in my experience, it does an okay job. Laser does an okay job. IPL probably does a better job on broken capillaries, but it's gonna hurt, just so you know. <laughs> so you can burn them away. There are certain topical formulas that you can use, vitamin K formulas, triple vitamin C formulas. Image Skincare makes a rosacea line, it's called the Vital C line, that does a good job of hiding them a little bit. They, they get diffused, they look a little less apparent because the skin gets thicker on top of them. A lot of times the blood will start to pool in these broken capillaries and they'll look more obvious. So what I use for that on clients is red LED that works like gangbusters on those kind of issues. And sometimes if you use red LED very, very consistently, it can get some of the smaller ones to sort of collapse and reabsorb. So I have seen that happen that's usually with very, very consistent use. Anything that's going to help get that blood flowing, it's gonna really help. I remember one time I had a client, she came in and she had had the old style microdermabrasion, like with the whisk. I mean, we're going back to this because she had some permanent cysts in this area and so she was just dying to get rid of them. And so they went and did old, old school microdermabrasion and just <laughs> ambushed her cheek area trying to get rid of those. In the end, I think she still had them, which was sort of heartbreaking, but she came in to see me and her cheeks were bright red. And I was just like, what is this? So I remember I put some neogenesis on her, which is fabulous on broken capillaries and just rebuilding the skin in, in general. I put some vitamin C, I started to do red LED, and not much was happening there. She was getting ready to leave, and I said, you know what, lay back down. And I broke out the Anma, and I just did windshield wiper, trying to break up that and get that pooled blood to just move on. I did some lymphatic drainage, I let her skin cool, and she got up off the table. She looked at herself in the mirror and she was like, oh my God, my cheeks haven't been normal color in like six months. Cause she'd had the surgery, I think it was six months prior. And she's like, oh my God, my cheeks, they're normal color and they're normal color. So it's usually a combination of medical intervention. Sometimes the onma can help. A lot of times the onma can help, especially if it's that pooled blood. LED, the right products, and sunscreen because the sun, I feel like all of the capillary damage I have on my skin is from the 10 years I spent in Miami. And I know this stuff on my arms is from the 10 years I spent in Miami. So sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. It's not an easy issue, especially if you have the very fine ones. But if you have the really large ones, like around the nose, those are super easy to get rid of with an electro desiccator. So some name brands are the Thermalo, the Thermoclear, the Skin Classic, the Lamp Probe, and there are many others, but they basically just dry up the capillary and it gets reabsorbed by the body. And it's a very simple, almost painless <laughs> procedure. It doesn't hurt that much. And you just have to be really careful afterwards to not be blowing your nose and re-rupturing them afterwards, but it does a great job. It's made so many of my clients happy. It's a very easy procedure. The thing is, not a lot of estheticians do it, but 
I'm sure you could find somebody. It's called an electrodesiccator. Look for somebody in your area if you have the larger capillaries that are really visible. Thanks for watching.